What is up everyone? I hope you're all good. This is a little bit of a different setting. Um, I've just extended the fish room. This is it. This is, this is the, f no, it's not really. I am with NT Labs today and we are going to be scaping their office aquarium. I think we're going to go for a really simple tank with some big cobbles and yeah, it, they, it needs to be easy for them to maintain. So I'm going to keep it super simple and really achievable for you guys and for them. So we've got this super chunky tank. It's real deep front to back. Like it's got a lot of scope to mess around with the rocks. So I think it's going to be really cool because we can get some good depth. You might have seen this one. This is the one I escaped a little while ago for them with the big bit of bog wood. It looked really, really good. But the hardscape that we've got, river cobbles, like the size of that one. That's going to be my focal point. Yeah, and the rest of them are just going to sort of tie in around it and make it look really good. We have got some wood if we want to play with that and sort of add some in, but I'm not sure I'm going to use it. And then we've just got it graded all the way down. So we've got smaller pebbles, really fine gravel, even finer gravel our substrate and our sand. We have also got some rocks over here, but this is going to be for Ruby Scape that we're going to be doing in another video. Now with any scape that I do, obviously this is going to have a few plants in it, so I need to start off with a good nutrient layer underneath. So we're just going to use some substrate, but I want to bank it up quite high in one corner and bring it down across the tank sort of things. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using some of these mesh bags because that will just hold my substrate in place and keep it locked into that corner. Then I can put a nice capping of, I'm not sure yet, sand, maybe gravel, maybe a mixture of both, but at least this way this is going to keep it all locked down in that corner. All right, let's get these bags of substrate in. Yeah, one like that, and I reckon another one pretty much on top of that one. Ugh. Right, substrate's in. So we are gonna start off with my monster rock. I'm not too sure where it's gonna go yet, but somewhere in the back like that. So let's start with this one. Okay, I'm liking how this is going, but I need to get rid of some of this substrate down here because it is, there's just too much to put this next rock in on top of it. So I need to readjust my bag of soil. There we are. So rather using the substrate, I'm going to use this rock to prop it up. There's going to be a big rock in front of this, so you're hardly going to see that one. Cool. I've got the main structure in. I think those three rocks together work really well want to get a layer of sand in now just so that I can sort of start filling those gaps in and then placing some of the smaller sort of more detailed pebbles around the edges that should then fill in these sort of blank gaps we've got. Stop the video I am sorry for the interruption do forgive me but NT Labs and Fish Shop Matt have a super duper awesome giveaway planned all you need to do is head over to the NT Labs Facebook page or their Instagram page or I suppose both if you want to be sneaky about it and you need to tag your favourite fish person you take shopping with you, or maybe your partner that you drag along, whoever. And also you need to tag your favourite fish shop that you go to. Now you are going to then be entered into the chance to win a super duper scaping food bundle for yourself. And also a test kit bundle for your shop. Now the cool thing with that is, well, you are going to be one of the favourite customers that are going in. If you win test kits for your local fish shop, you are going to be one of the favourite customers by far. Obviously, terms and conditions apply. All of that will be over on the Instagram and Facebook post. Just read all the conditions, read what you need to do. Yeah, and that's it. It's going to be running until the 7th of April, 12pm I think it is. But again, everything will be written on the post. So head over to the Facebook, head over to the Instagram, like, comment, subscribe, enter tag your friend, tag your fish shop, just read the instructions, you'll be fine, just go there, and uh, fingers crossed, you may win, who knows, anyway, back to the video, I will see you, well, in a couple of seconds, but that's past me, and this is future anyway, see you in a minute. Mm. 
Now for some detail stones. Well, medium detail stones. Okay, cool, I'm really liking that. So we've got this sort of sweep down to the right hand side. Yeah, really digging that. The next thing I've got to do though, is I want to go down a grade. So we've got this size and this size. So I'm going to go down to sort of this size. Hang on, let me grab them. Yeah, so we're going to go down to this side, which is the next one down. And then we're going to go down again in grade. So it's like a whole pebbly stream scape thing going on. I'm really liking how this has come out. Um, actually, let me show you properly. Let me bring you closer. Yeah, so super simple, super easy to achieve. We've just gone with these big cobbles and it's gonna be fairly inexpensive and a really simple scape to create. You know, there's nothing hard about this. This is what I talk about. Have fun, create something interesting. And that is really not that difficult. So next we're gonna go plants. Now we're thinking sort of lots of little grasses creeping in amongst it. Again, don't want anything difficult. And then some lobelias in the back. I have got java ferns, but I just think lobelias will look nice in those back two corners and then all those grasses in the front. We've got to prep all the plants now. We've got four different types here. I'm probably gonna need a few more pots of them, but I'm not 100% sure. So the plants we're gonna go for, we've got some nice Monte Carlo, and this is the in vitro pots, so these are really good and really clean plants. We then got some of the hair grass as well. We've got some Liliopsis, which is like a slightly thicker sort of grass, and then this really cool Lobelia for the background. Let's get them unpotted because, well, you don't need to see that. Let's roll it forward a bit. have all the plants portioned up. Look how neat that looks. I quite like it just like that. It looks like a little field of like vegetables, but let's commence the planting. So I've started planting the foreground plants over here. It's a nice little swathe of them. I'm just gonna go for loads of different clumps of different types of plants all the way through. I think that will look really nice. We are fully planted. We've got the lobelias in the back. We've got all the hair grasses and the liliopsis and the Monte Carlo, all sort of mixed up, but in good clumps all the way around the tank. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give all the plants a bit of a spray with some water to keep them damp. And I think this is gonna be cool because we're gonna be able to see the colors of all those rocks. That is 
awesome. Look at those rocks. I didn't know this one was going to be like a white and a red. This one's proper orange. That one I thought was going to be grey. So yeah, that's looking really nice. We've got a nice blue one in the front. And then all the cobbles are all different colours. So you can see like a red one that matches that one. So yeah, it looks really nice. The planting looks good. So now we just need to fill it. I've really enjoyed creating this aquascape. It's, yeah, really nice. It's really simple. It's really easy to recreate at home. So it's something that you can have a go at. Just sort of play around with it and see if you can get it how you like the look of it. Remember, just have fun. But I'm going to leave this in the hands of the guys and girls of MT Labs now. They're going to be looking after it over the next few weeks, getting some fish in here so you can go and watch out for those updates on their channel. And yeah, I'm going to leave it there. So I'll uh, see you in the next one.